I love my cats, Tux and Domino, but it drives me crazy when they jump up on the counter where we eat. It's time to get the kitties to quit it. I was digging around in the garage and found this old pair of computer speakers that I figured I'd never use again. Until now. I popped the base off and removed one screw in the back and then removed this little cover that covers a speaker and found four more screws. After removing them, the whole speaker housing opened up. That's a pretty decent little speaker in there, so I unsoldered the wires and I'm going to hang on to that for a future project. Then I went ahead and just clipped that speaker wire and clipped it in the back because it's molded and there's no way to pull it out. And to complete the strip down, I stripped off the piece of material that covers the speaker. Okay, the housing is done. Now onto the components for our Sonic Cat Repeller. The main component will be an Arduino, and pretty much any flavor will work. Next, we need a PIR motion sensor, or a passive infrared sensor. This will detect movement. And we'll need a piezo buzzer. This one produces a screaming 86 decibels. And to power the Arduino, a power cable with a 9-volt battery clip. The PIR sensor has three connections, ground, voltage, and output. So I soldered three wires to the PIR sensor and then soldered it to the Arduino with the appropriate connections. Then I wired up the piezo buzzer. Okay, it's time to get the Arduino programmed, so I plug a USB cable into my computer, plug the Arduino in, and then ran the Arduino software and uploaded the code. Oh, the code and diagram for this build is available for free at kipk.com. Now it's time to put everything together. So I'm going to use two small metal wires along with some hot glue to secure the PIR sensor in the grill portion of our speaker housing. And the sensor is in place ready to sense the movement of my cats. I decided to make a slight modification to our power cable and add a small switch that I can use to turn on and off the Sonic Cat Repeller. So I soldered that in line with the negative wire. And that power switch conveniently fit in the old speaker wire hole. Okay, we're done. Time to put everything inside the speaker housing and close it all up. I attached the base and all the screws and our Sonic Cat Repeller is ready to test out. I placed it at the end of the counter and turned it on and here we go. Here comes Tux. She triggered it, and there she goes. The best part about this is it can alert you to all kinds of things based on movement. So that's how to make the Sonic Cat Repeller that makes a sound telling my cats to get down. Oh, and speaking of sounds, did you know you could listen to famous people read their books to you? From the brand new comedy stylings of Amy Poehler to the thought-provoking Bill Nye the Science Guy, Audible.com's got you covered. Choose from more than 150,000 titles in every genre imaginable. With Audible.com, you can listen anywhere on your smartphone, Kindle, tablet, computer, or MP3 player. And now, thanks to Audible, who helps support my show, Kip K fans can get an audiobook absolutely free. So, after watching this video, head on over to audible.com slash Kip K and pick out your free audiobook. That's audible.com slash Kip K. Thanks for supporting my show, and we'll see you next time.